leave the outward expression, the doctrine, the dogma, and the form, and behold the unity and oneness of spirit. Then there will be no need to divide this universe of ours between heaven and hell, no need to divide fellow beings into virtuous and vicious, the eternally damned and the eternally saved. Gandhi, Young India, February 9th, 1928. Yeah, gosh, uh, just this afternoon I was meditating on a passage from the Chinese philosopher Seng Tsan, and he says, make a thousandth of an inch distinction, heaven and earth swing apart. Uh, even a little bit of disunity. Now, we're not talking about recognizing superficial differences, but sensing actual disunity among living creatures, even a little bit, goes a long way in the harmful direction. So as unnatural and as difficult as it may be, we have to constantly be involved in the struggle to detect the underlying unity among all superficial differences. In fact, I said it was difficult, but I think it's actually a, a thrilling kind of struggle. It's so rewarding to see the unity underlying differences, especially the differences that make us feel uncomfortable with our fellow human beings. The ability to stop and think, oh, well, I see what he was after, and it's the same thing I'm after, but he's approaching it in a different way. That's the heart and soul of the nonviolent worldview. <laughs> 